I just did a whole video and one of my clients called in and, and broke through and I'm like, no, I'm not going to answer. I'm not going to answer. And they, they blew it. So I should probably post all of this, but I've already, I've already opened everything up. This is from my bestie in the Westie, Midwestie, my best friend, Diane. And the first present comes along. She sends me this beautiful card. And you can see this tree, it's a goddess, and she's reaching up for the light, right? And the message says, happy birthday, chica. I hope you have a fabulous day. She's a beautiful tree reaching for the sky. Love, Diane. And then the first little package that came out, because there's always more than one, pops out, and it's this. And I said that all of my crystals were in Sedona, and I'm missing all my crystals, right? This feels like rose quartz, but it's peachy in color. So I'm not quite certain but I've been missing my crystals. So on it goes. And then there's one more. Soundings, Door County and Poetry. All roads lead home, I keep hearing. All roads leave home and it's all poems. Oh, the first one that popped into my head was, okay, let's do this. Let's do this like a reading. Okay, Spirit, what is the most important message for me? And then, Anthology of Poems Reflecting Visions of Door County, Wisconsin, which is where we're from, which is where my best friend lives. Okay, so let's find out. Correct for neutrality. This is how my mother used to do it, right? I use cards and she does this. She uses a kinesiology. It's still energy. So she would fan and she would allow her higher self to stop her when it was the message we were supposed to listen to. Now, okay, so this is it. Left, right, right. Peninsula Drift, I was just speaking about this. I was speaking about this when I was looking out at the, at the water. Right now there's a great change that's happening. There's a huge wave of emotion and energy is shifting and the wind is, is great. And there are white lines on the lake. It's very unusual. I've seen white caps on the lake, but not white lines like this. I videotaped it. I could show it to you. I don't know if you would see it from this distance. If you could see, there are white lines on the lake. It's very, very strange. And the big thunderheads across over there. And the osprey showed up. And the osprey said that there's important information pending. Um, an opportunity is coming. Stay on the vigilant, right? The opportunity will be very short and you need to dive on it. And the osprey is a diving eagle. And the osprey says that you will dive down deep under your emotional waters and you will emerge safe and sound. While I was watching the osprey showed up and he was being dive bombed by crows, which is the darkness coming out of the void, right? Something is on his ass. Something is pushing him down. But the osprey is stronger. And, I, and, and what I realized was that the crow must have had a nest up in the, in the palm tree. And so he wanted, the, the, the osprey was a threat to the crow's nest. And so all this time I've been thinking about the osprey being my twin soul, when in all reality, the osprey is me. I am a threat to whoever it is in this nest. They're, I'm a threat to them, so they're dive bombing and they're constantly on me, right? But you're able to dive down under your emotional waters and you will emerge safe and sound. You are a diving eagle. And so I was saying to my landlord, I'm looking at this water here, and I said one time I was in Sturgeon Bay and I had rented a little, not rented, I had gone and bought a little dinghy because it was summertime and it was hot and I wanted to go in the water. I didn't have a boat. So I got this little dinghy at the hardware store for five bucks on clearance and I went out into the, into the, sound it's kind of like Surgeon Bay is where the big ships come through and I had Alice in Wonderland and I was reading that book and I fell asleep and I woke up to Woo! <laughs> and I looked and there was a big freight liner right there and I was like oh my god I'm in the middle of it right song right now drops of Jupiter now that she's back from her soul vacation interesting this is coming a lot today so the message that we got the message that we're supposed to read is Peninsula Drift I was on the peninsula drifting. It was our honeymoon and my first time camping. We hiked Minaha Trail along Nicolette Bay. You picked a yellow daisy and tucked it behind your ear. Daisy is the flower of the Aries people. Then turned and smiled at me. I took your picture. Everything beamed exotic. Birds, bees, waves, sand, sky, our campfire, popping sparks against the trees, ink black sentinels standing inside the light. Cuddled in our sleeping bags, I felt the ghosts from Blossomburg Cemetery. 
a river of souls and stars flowing above our canvas lantern cave. I shivered and moved close to you. Perhaps I sensed the days to come, decades filled with the flint of time. Flint. This stone that I found when I was in Sedona, it feels like flint to me. I know it's not black, but it feels like flint to me. Now that she's back from that soul vacation, tracing her way through the constellation, did you fall for a shooting star, one without a permanent scar? Perhaps I sense the days to come, this day when you come to visit me, with your present wife bringing plants to share, hard rested from your garden. My husband sits with you on the burn, talking vegetables, flowers, pests, rain. He offers a hand to help you rise, but you refuse with a self-mocking laugh. Grab your cane and struggle to standing. It's the peninsula talking. It's the peninsula talking, coming home. I said when I got my mama Sherry is sending me silk scarves that Papa Terry brought back from Vietnam. Everything kept coming from Sturgeon Bay and I kept hearing in my head, all roads lead home. It's confusing to me. Two doves are flying by right now. Can you imagine your best friend always sticking up for you even when she knows you're wrong. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Give me one. What's the most important one for right now? Why is it the cemetery? At the cemetery on Judville Road, on the rain-damp earth, the only live things are Robin and its object, the worm, tugged at and stretched like gum. Some people buried here are remembered with fresh-cut flowers but not Alma, born 1928, died in 1964, whose last name is already eroded and can't be read. Perhaps the marker of her inferior monument is also buried here. His headstone like a gray mushroom in the field. So why is it that she begins with a female name, Alma, her inferior monument is also buried here. His headstone like a gray mushroom in the field. So I guess they were buried together. I remember the grave of John Keats inscribed, here lies one whose name is writ in water. The Berger family tombstone is a bench for a weary body. I sit down to count statues of stone angels and dogs that watch over their humans. At the east end of the cemetery where most markers face me, I could give a poetry reading to an audience of ghosts. Only a few have lost interest and turn away from the word toward the setting sun. I'm confused. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Door County is my Italy. I have pictures in my house. This one. And this one. It's the Amalfi Coast in Italy. With tidy rows of vine vineyards and red wine, it's my Norway filled with fish boils, fry fire bottles, and fjords of flowers. The country is my California coast. Waves crashing upon rocky outcrops, my Florida beach red, my Jamaican hammock between, two cedars rocking me sleepy with lulling waves. It's my cliffs of moor overlooking the rolling seas. The peninsula is my province of purple plumage. Fish Creek is my quaintness of English po pubs on narrow roads. It's my Stratford-upon-Avon with the bard in the woods. It's my Louvre, a limestone museum of ancient fossils. Bailey's Harbor is my Peggy's Cove, fishing boats and foghorns. It's my Holland and Japan bursting with tulips and daffodils, cherry blossoms and apple blossoms. I no longer covet journeys to far off lands. It's all here. Just open the enchanted door. Dark County is my Italy. You people don't know why I'm crying. Door County is, it's uh, she used to meet me on the east side.
Door County is the, um, they call it the Cape Cod of the Midwest. Here's a place I'd like to live. From the chaos of primordial star mix or a paint bowl on a wheel, I have been flung and landed without incident on this thin stretch of shore below sharp grassed dunes facing east. I lie in severe September sun, on side of my body burning the other in shade and chill, a Picasso woman black and white divided. The sky stretches up to where the air stops. The soft seaweed gathers in piles at the shore. I close my eyes and sprin the broken pieces out. When I rise, I plant my feet and root down, saying, here's a place I'd like to live. I love it, Diane, thank you. Certain people will understand what this message means. I need to listen to it a little longer. Thank you.